I guess I gotta pay attention to sharp drop-offs. Too quiet. Holy, oh yaddy. I think I'm just gonna, oh God. Just, I'm just gonna just get out of here. No, no. Oh, ho. Yeah, that'll do. No, no, don't. Well. Oh no, I don't want to go in here. What is with these things here? Like, what are those? Would that turn into something if I stepped on it or touched it or something? Those are the same things that were on the plane. site was a mess. The modular office had been pushed off the cliff. Deputy Thornton climbed up from the wreckage excited, breathing hard from the exertion. Nobody there. It's weird. Don't you think that's weird? Bored, Mulligan let out a mighty snort. Hell, it's always weird, Thornton. Just a question of sorting out what kind of weird it is this time around. Thornton and Mulligan. I don't think we know them yet. And if I do, then I've forgotten who they are. Oh. Oh yeah, I meant to do that. That's cool. Paging Mr. Wake. When Barry saw the darkness attack the visitor center, it made him a believer. The men Al said he'd shot, they hadn't been just locals on crank. Somehow the world had changed, like the channel had been switched without warning. You think you're watching a sitcom, and you're really watching a horror show. When the birds started attacking the cabin, Barry wasn't surprised, just terrified. Okay, we got more flares here. We've got a thermos. I guess I could try walking on one of those things to figure out what it does, but I mean, if I don't have to. Yeah, I, I don't think I'm going to try that. Shoo. Edgy much? Oh my god, this is such a long fall. The darkness wears her fi her face. Be aware of widow neighbors. Come on. Oof. 
just. I mean, the only her that I really know is my wife. So, I wonder... Ooh. Shadow stirred and the wind picked up as I ran through the forest. I felt the dark presence turning its gaze toward me. Then the moonlight was blotted out by dark shadows that raced violently across the ground, moving too swiftly to be natural. Darkness gathered between the trees and melted again to reveal the Taken. No natural path had brought them here. So the question is... Where the hell did they come from? And I guess that's what we're going to try to find out. Under the disguise of trying to find my wife, I imagine I'm going to find out a whole bunch of other unsettling things about this place. Hell? Two of them. Yeah, back up off me. Uh oh, that didn't last very long. Okay, this tactic works okay to kind of keep them at bay, but... This looks like it provides a lot of natural cover for the Taken. What? Is that another plane? Oh no, it's a crazy. Oh, there's the chainsaw! Oh no! This is not good. I think I'd like to deal with this little bastard first. Oh, see, this kind of keeps him a little bit too far at bay. But see, the problem is... Come on. Come on. Oh, God. Another one. Oh, I'm out of flares. This is bad. That worked out. Good thing for that rock. Keeping him in place. <laughs> okay, let's check back here. There's gotta be something. Maybe not. 
I guess this just provides me some space where if I wanted to evade that chainsaw guy, then I could kind of do so. Oh yeah. Barry? Ow! The porch is covered with birds. They got all Hitchcock on me. Stay out of sight. I'm on my way. Don't open the door. What are we crazy? Stay hidden. I'll be there soon. Just make sure you keep the lights on. Okay, well that we we read that part. But does that now mean, like, okay, so... These three pages, then, are essentially, like, totally gone, because we're pretty much caught up with the rest of this, I think. I still had to reach Barry at the cap, but at least I was out of the woods. It's unfortunate that they, that pages are sometimes hidden away from, like, the main path. I get it, but at the same time, I'd like, i really like to get them all, but not at the detriment of, you know, having to scour for them. Some people were saying that they're actually extremely well hidden, and if you want to be incredibly thorough, then it takes, um, you know, some serious commitment and some serious scavenging, so... I'd have to get the car from the locked garage. It would get me back to Barry faster. And the headlights were a welcome bonus. You got that right. If that swing moves, I swear to God. The FBI agent's command froze me in place. I considered surrender. It was all falling apart anyway. I could give in, let someone else deal with it. But it felt all wrong. Cold instinct. His posture, the way he held the gun, he was no friend. Shots ringing in my ears, I leaped for the hole in the fence and stumbled into the darkness beyond. Uh, command froze me in place. Uh-oh. We're gonna be dealing with authority here. I haven't even had to use the hunting rifle yet. You know what? Let's just get that going, because... Use it or lose it. Oh no. I had to find the key to the garage. Oh god, again. A story again. is not a machine that does what you tell it. A story is a beast with a life of its own. You can create it, shape it, but as the story grows, it starts wanting things of its own. Change one thing and you set off a chain reaction of events that spreads through the whole thing. The characters have to be true to themselves. The events need to follow a logic that fits the story. A single flaw and the magic is gone. The story dies. Alice dies. You can't oh, God! Nature and yourself. Ah! Jesus! Is he coming? You know what? Screw him. Come on. I don't think he's coming out of there, actually. I'm okay with this.
I don't know why I would need to really boost the lights. Yet, but maybe something will come up. Okay, Barry. Are we close? to push any of this out of the way. Can I push the back of this RV, maybe? This is bad. Oh, I guess <laughs> this is an option. Where? The flare gun was probably the best weapon I could imagine against the dark things I was facing. Okay, well, good to know. I kind of want to save it, though. Oh, this is not good. Oh, shit. Come on! Oh my god. Ooh. I thought I had regular flares too, but I don't. Oh, more of them. Oh, come on. Come on, let's just get to the light. Is there going to be anything in here? Or wait. Oh, this is... Oh, I see. Okay. We've been here before, obviously. It was the kidnapper. You son of a bitch! Where's my wife? Enough horseplay, Wake! You deliver the manuscript, and you can have your woman back. Simple as that. I don't... Listen. Listen. I'm gonna need time to finish it. I still need to write the ending. I need... A week. <laughs> it's not done. I need a week. Two days. The old Bright Falls coal mine is nearby. You can find it easy, city boy. The main building, there at noon. You bring the manuscript, you'll get your wife. If not, well, uh, get me. Yes, yes, I, I get you. Yeah, we're totally bullshitting him. That's great. But it just bought us two days, I guess. Which is better than no days. I have a f bad feeling about Barry. Oh my god. Barry had talked about birds over the phone. Oh, no, he's still alive. We're probably going to need to blast these flares at these birds. Ow! Ow, I am so glad you're here. A couple of them got in here before I blocked the chimney. This isn't normal. These birds are weird. Uh oh. Whoa!
Come at me, birds. They're circling. Okay, that actually Barry? works okay. You can open the door now. Oh, they're gone. Come on, Barry. Come on. Hey, Al. I'm, I'm sorry for thinking you were having a psychotic episode, man. I sent Barry to the town to ask around about a man fitting the kidnapper's description. He'd go through the archives of the local paper. Perhaps he could learn something anything about the island and the cabin that had disappeared. The man wanted a manuscript. I had to try to write him one to get Alice back. For me, the supernatural had always been nothing but a metaphor for the human psyche, a tool to use in writing fiction. Now, it was happening for real and I couldn't put a single word on paper. Barry Wheeler speaking. This is Rose. Rose? I found Mr. Wake's pages. Oh, you sweet, brilliant girl. Could you and Mr. Wake come get them? I live in the trailer park outside the town. We'll be there in less than an hour. Bye now. See you soon. Uh, Have a great day. Yeah, something's Hope aft. you come back soon. Welcome, Welcome to uh, the Dear Diner. Good girl. Oh my god, I don't like this at all. Ah, uh, so no. Nope. Wow, okay, so who is this old I could I could say which because let's be serial. Uh she can possess or take control of people, obviously. I don't know if Rose is dead or if she's just being controlled. I don't know. And we've got Barry with us, wife is gone. Kidnapper wants us to finish this book, but I don't know how the kidnapper is tied in with this witch lady. Uh, and we can't write the book because lots of reasons. This is nutty. I don't know what's going on. Okay, we'll see you guys next time.